Hello and welcome to lesson 12 of Software Design and Development for National 5 Computing Science. Today we are continuing on to predefined functions with parameters. I think it's best to work backwards here, let's do that. So I'm going to do three separate videos on each of these predefined functions. We're starting with length today, so let's go to Replit, create a new Replit, and we'll call this one Length Function. So first let's talk about what predefined functions are so you understand what we're talking about here. Python is a programming language that has lots of built-in helper tools to make your coding life easier. Now we've already used some functions. The print function is used to display things on screen. This is a function that prints things on the screen. We've also used range. A range allows you to generate some numbers. So basically a predefined function is something that exists in the programming language to help you speed up your coding. Because if you were to try and write actual code that displayed something on screen, that would take way too long. So the print function is there for you to use and the range function is there for you to use. Well, there are three other predefined functions that are there for you to use to speed up your programming and one of them is the length function. Now, what does the length function do? Well, actually it's not called length in Python. You may have noticed that when it was L-E-N, it went purple. This length function finds the length of whatever is in the brackets. Now, many things in programming languages can have a length, but the two that we're going to be interested in are strings and arrays. Now, we haven't learned about arrays yet, so first we're going to do strings. Now, let's just create a variable called word length, and it's going to be equal to the result of this function, the length function. And I'm just going to, in quotes, type in my name. Mr. Computing, oh yes. So what do you think word length is going to store? This variable is going to store the result of this function. This function finds the length of whatever is in the brackets. This is known as the parameter. We're passing in a parameter and this function will return a value to this variable. All of that's quite fancy programming speak and um, terminology but it'll make sense once you start using it. So obviously, it's finding the length of this. Well, you might be able to tell that the length of this depends on how many characters there are. So there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 11, 12 characters. Notice that it includes the space. Anything, numbers, underscores, special characters, not quotations though, let's get rid of those. <laughs> they are all included in the length. But let's undo oh, and see if it works. Print word length. See if it works. Mine got incredible. It works. So how is this useful? Well, let's do an example. Let's say we're creating a program to reset your password. Now, it's not going to actually reset your password, but this is just an example of how this type of program could have been created. Well, first, we're going to ask the user for their new password. And it's going to be equal to an input. Enter your new password. Now, what do you know about new passwords? Most of the time when you're creating a new password, the password has a minimum length. It has to be at least six characters in length. Sometimes it's at least eight. Sometimes there are other fancy things as well, like it has to have a mix of uppercase and lowercase, and it must include numbers, that type of thing, or a special character. That's a little bit advanced for now, but let's just stick with the length. Let's just say that while the length of the new password is less than six, we're going to tell the user, nah mate, try again. So we're going to say new password equals input try again. New passwords must be at least six characters. And then if we ever get out of this loop, that means that our new password meets the password criteria, which means it's not less than six characters. Let's uh, print a success message. Success, your new password has been accepted. Let's give it a blast. Run, enter the new password. Let's just call it comp. Try again, that is too short. Okay, what about pass? <gasps> no, what about one, two, three, four, five? Why not? Because they're all less than six. And this will continue until we get a number of, of characters that is not less than six. Whoops. So what's not less than six? Computing. Success. Your new password has been accepted. So this is the length 
predefined function. It's called a predefined function because it already exists in the programming language. At higher level, you'll get user-defined functions, but for now, we're sticking with the predefined ones. So how else could you use the length of something? I mean, there are other ways of using the length. It's not just to check if a, a word is long enough. Let's do something slightly amusing, to me at least, and let's ask the user for a word uh, from the keyboard. Enter a word. And what we're going to do is, for every character in that word, we're going to print the whole word again. So, if you enter a three-letter word, it'll print the whole word three times. If you enter a twelve-letter word, it'll type the word twelve times. I said it was amusing to me, it's not really, but let's see. So, for x in range, what number are we going to put in here? I said if it was a three-character word, we'll repeat three times. So what we're going to get is the length of the word as the range. So if we type in hello, that's five characters. So the length will be five. So the range will be range five. So we're going to repeat five times. And what did I say we'll do? We'll just print the word. Let's see how this works. Enter a word. We'll say hello. It prints it five times because hello has five letters. Let's run it again. Hi runs it twice. Let's run it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Prints it nine times. Not bad. One final time, Mr. Computing. Oh my god. All right, I'm going to show you one more thing that might make this slightly more interesting. I'm going to add something to the end of this. And this is creeping into more data types that we haven't learned yet, but try this. Add square brackets at the end. So these are the ones that are next to the letter P, between P and Enter. And just type X. Remember, X contains a number that's in this range. Watch what happens. So I'm going to run it. It's going to ask for a word. I'm going to type, hello. What do you think it's going to print? Watch this. Oh! It prints one letter at a time in the order of the whole word. See if you can figure out why it's doing that. That's the end of this lesson. All I wanted to show you was the length predefined function. Length. It finds the length of something. In this case, we did a word or a string. Hope you've enjoyed this one. Have an experiment. Have a practice. See if you can figure out other ways of using the length of things. And I'll see you in the next one.